Ooh, I feel unnatural. I don't know. I don't like this position. I don't have a chair. Oh well. Hey everyone, I haven't uploaded in a while. It's been a very unexpected uh, several months. Things just seem to happen back to back, but I wanted to make this because I feel like I'm ready to get back to it. First things first, I did get the OM1 and I've been using it over the last couple months. Yes, I love it, but I still have some thoughts. I'm still unsure whether or not I'm going to keep it. Not because I think it's a bad camera. I think it's the best camera I've ever owned. Longer V short though. It's the best of what made the EM1 Mark II, III, but made faster, more responsive. And if you're a generalist photographer, that's what you want. And you want, you're trying to get into sports photography, wildlife photography, or just have a need for something really fast. You can't go wrong with this camera. I do think it is worth over the price of the Canon R7 and even compared to the full frame counterparts that are within its price class. I mean, the only camera out right now that's even close in terms of speed would be the Fuji XHS, blah, 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 XH2S. Um, and that camera still doesn't instill confidence in the autofocus. Blah, blah, ooh, autofocus department, I haven't done this in a while. But that's also a great camera. I'm still on the fence on what on the fence on whether I'm going to keep this mainly because I'm shooting more and more video and I can't afford to keep a bunch of different cameras. I have another video where I talk about that, but um, I really want to touch on the OM5. The OM5 rumors are circling around. The rumors started this started by saying that the OM5 is not going to be an EM5 Mark III replacement. Then rumors stated that it's going to be the same sensor as the OM1. 43rumors.com is reporting that it's going to shoot slower, have a single SD card, probably slower to save even more cost, probably not going to be HS2, and uh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, uh, how expensive are those things now? Um, and it's probably going to have a lesser EVF, um, that's what it says on the rumor side, that it's going to have a 3.6 million dot EVF uh, versus the 5 something on the OM1. Um, with all that said, it's hard to believe that this camera isn't going to be an EM5 replacement with those specs. I think a lot of customers wanted, want an OM1 in a compact body, and it looks like that's what they're going to be getting. I do want to look further into that statement, though, made about them saying that this is not an EM5 replacement, though. Obviously, it just means that they're going to be selling the EM5 Mark III alongside the OM5, but I've personally think it's a waste it's wasteful to simply make it an om1 in a compact body most of the customers that want a really compact um, body don't really need the benefits of the om1 sensor if you're really only doing general photography and want a compact body the em5 mark iii is already a great buy personally i think it should be one of two things instead of simply an om1 mini i think the i think it should either be a higher megapixel option or a video-centric camera. Most people assume a Micro Four Thirds sensor can't go further than the limited because of this limited size. Well, Sony already has a 47 megapixel sensor, the IMX um, for I, IMX 492 LQJ or something. It's labeled for surveillance, but the sensor used in the Panasonic GH5S, Zcam E2, and Pocket 4K is a sensor labeled for surveillance as well. The sensor is already being used in cameras. Um, the Lucid Atlas 10 is a camera that has a sensor, which they offer as a monochrome or color version. There are a couple other cameras that is used by Astro photographers as well that use the sensor. I bring this up because I remember when the rumors of the OM-1 were starting to leak that it was supposed to have Astro follow. While the OM-1 is a fantastic camera, I imagine it's still not as good for certain types of photography. And in this case, I specifically mean astrophotography. Um, not to say that it can't do astrophotography, obviously it's very good, and there are astrophotographers that are using it, but the OM-1 is clearly aimed at a certain niche of photography, which is fast-moving subjects. With Micro Four Thirds cameras being very popular with astrophotographers, it would make sense to cater to that demographic. I'm not saying that it should strictly be made for Astro. The OM-1 is clearly catered towards that high-speed wildlife adventurer type of photographer, but the general photographer can, be, can um, also enjoy this camera. I'm enjoying this and I'm not really one of those types of photographers. Um, it could be a win for OM if they were able to take some of that market. 
I'm sure there are a lot of astrophotographers that would love to have a camera that's as good as their dedicated astrophotography camera. There's a lot of astrophotography, I'm saying that a lot. Um, it'd be good as their astro camera, then turn around and use it for their photos of their family and friends or even landscape, whatever the case may be. The other type of camera that I really like for it to be is something a little bit more video centric. OM is the only company that doesn't have a camera offering, I'm saying that weird, like a robot. OM is the only company that um, doesn't really have an offering that would attract video shooters. While this is a missed opportunity, this is probably a smart move as it's kind of a saturated market now, but I do wish the they could take some of the codecs from the GH6 that the, the codecs that the GH, the, the OM sensor can record. I mean, obviously it's not, it's not a, uh, it's only 20 megapixel sensor, so it won't offer anything like 5.6K, but it can offer all the 4K recording options and offer it in a different package. What I honestly think would be a smarter and cheaper move is to simply repackage an EM1 Mark III, but update the processor to be able to record all the GH5 Mark II codecs. It'd be great to have all of those features and have the OM1 autofocus, autofocus tracking updates. If that was priced at the same price point as the GH5 Mark II, or maybe even less since it's all old parts anyway, uh, minus the newer processor, you'd have a great option for a lot of video shooter, different types of video shooters like me. Again, this is something that I would have preferred, but it's most likely going to be an EM5 replacement with watered down OM1 spark specs. At a, uh, at, at a cheaper price, and I suspect it'll probably sit at around $1,500 price range area, which to me is incredibly cheap for a camera with a BSI sensor. I don't think there are any BSI cameras in that price bracket at all. Now, I do have in mind of what a Olympus camera body should do and maybe um systems can do can uh, take note from it but i did draw my dream olympus cinema camera before so please check that out if you haven't already or not i'm not yeah you know, not a big deal if you don't if you're not interested in it but it's basically a micro four thirds version of an uh, of a sony fx3 with better button layout um i don't know i'm still on the fence of grabbing a uh more video centric camera I love the OM1. It does great. There's just a few things that I'll probably mention in another video. Um, anyway, during these last few months, I've done a lot of thinking. I originally started this channel to document me trying to make a film, whether that be as a writer, director, cinematographer, or even as a grip or editor. Uh, that's just been a dream of mine for as long as I can remember. Well, I am finally going to be shooting a feature film. I've been hired on as a cinematographer for a feature and we will be shooting early to mid next year. There is still a lot of work to go before any news can be shared about it. The writer director is working on another couple drafts of the script. So while that's happening, I'll be tightening my cinematographer skills a little bit more. And that means I'll be shooting and writing a couple of my own short films and putting them on here. Since I do have the OM1 in hand, I'll do a few tests and um, give my opinions about it. So, uh, Keep an eye out for that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.